Okay guys, today I'm gonna show you how to set up your own articulations setup in Logic Pro. As a music composer, I have always to work very fast with very, very straight uh, deadlines. So I don't have the time to spend uh, on loading my key switches and then to select them. I am working always with big, big, big templates around 500, 600 tracks. And then if I select a key switch, I have to have the access to my key switch just by a click with my mouse. So I am going to show you today how to set up directly in Logic. Uh, of course, you can buy some setups on uh, internet for Logic like the art conductor or things like Babylon Waves, things like that. But uh, I strongly recommend you to do it by yourself, mainly for very, very, very important reasons. The first one, by doing it uh, by yourself in your own system, you will know better your system. So that means you will know better your DAW. Then you will know better also your template if you are using one. And of course, by doing that by yourself, you, you will know better also the libraries you are using. So now I'm going to show you how to set up that uh, articulations uh, in your logic very quickly so we can uh, dive right into the door. So here, as you can see, I have opened a session of Opus with Hollywood Strings 2 and the first violins key switch master. But of course, what I am going to show you will work with contact or, uh, of course, uh, if you use some uh, libraries like Spitfire Audio with their own con uh, player, it's gonna work. So, first of all, we're gonna open the inspector. The inspector, to open it, you, you can do it by clicking there or using the shortcut I. So, here, if I hit I, I have this pop-up which is now open and if I go there articulation set uh, by default it's on known if I click on it I will select new and here as you can see I have this pop-up window which is open so now I'm gonna place them like that okay so here in my opus I have uh, loaded my key switch master from the first violin from Hollywood strings 2 and of course I can select uh, an articulation by hitting the keys uh, on the left of my uh, keyboard but to do that I have always to change the, the, the settings with my left hand and as I told, I don't want to do that. So here we are going to go to articulations. Here we have all the articulations from this instrument. So here with the key uh, G0, we're gonna have the pizzicato. And if I hit the C1, I gonna have the tremolo. So here is the pizzicato, of course, and C1, the tremolo. Okay. So how to set up that here? As you can see here, we have switches, articulations, and output. Uh, in this video, I'm going to focus only in articulations and, and output. So in output here, if, if I want to have as a first uh, uh, articulation the tremolo here I'm gonna change the name and I'm gonna write tremolo okay oh, right okay 
So this is the here the ID of my articulation. Number one, okay. If my instrument here is set up on the MIDI channel one, here I have to have the same MIDI channel. So number one, okay. Even though I can also choose a symbol if I want, but here I think the tremolo is not there, so I don't care about that. But the main important thing gonna be the outputs. So here I have to choose the type and for the thing I want to do, note on have to be always selected. And I gonna explain to you later in the video why. The channel, of course, number one. And here I have to choose the selector. So if I come back there, I see that the selector of the tremolo is the note C1. So I'm gonna choose it here and I have to select C1. Where are you? C1, 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 you are there. Okay. And here also, if I want, I can choose a value to activate uh, this uh, program change, but for this video, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna uh, uh, change those things. I gonna let it like that, okay? And now let's say I want to add another one uh, articulation. Let's say we're gonna add the marcato, which is uh, enabled by the key F sharp zero, this one, okay? So. I go back to articulations. I hit the plus button there. Let's say Marcato. Yep. So here I choose channel one. I can choose the symbol. I think it's there. Yeah, it's there. Great. And I go back to the output. I select note on the channel still number one and here the Marcotto is on F sharp zero so I have to select F sharp zero it's there and then if I open my piano roll let's say here I'm gonna select my pencil and I will wrote some notes <coughs> And now, as you can see here on the left, we have the marcato which is selected, but for all the three notes, okay? So if I hit play, we're gonna hear all the three notes with the articulation marcato. Okay, but now let's say that I want the marcato just on those two, but I want the tremolo on the last one. I'm gonna select my last note and here I just gonna select tremolo and now if I hit play normally the tremolo gonna be just on the last note and the marcatos on the first two notes let's see so it's easy as you can see and now if I want to save my uh, setting I can go there and I can choose save as and let's say and here as you can see my settings are now saved as KS Fabio swing so by doing that you will know much more better your BAW and you will know also much more better your templates and you can then move very very fast so I hope guys this video was useful for you see you soon for another video ciao